Hi everyone, back again. Got a small replica of the uh, uh, Colorado Springs uh, type layout. Uh, I'm gonna lose the light, hang on a sec here. Uh, yeah, if I leave that on, the light starts to crackle too much. I need to get some some more in series there. Uh, so anyway, I've got a little, little model here. Um, and if I can show you, uh, this would be our little <laughs> six-foot Tesla. So uh, the coil was said to be about eight feet tall, um, and Tesla wasn't a short guy, so uh, he was about six feet, I'm guessing, I don't know. Anyway, um, so, kind of funny. Anyway, I've got a, uh, just the right amount of uh, top load here. And it was kind of, uh, took a while to find that out. I didn't want to be in the AM band anymore, so I've got it uh, right around 500 kilohertz. Uh, so who knows what I'm uh, intruding on now, um, if anything. Anyway, I've got a schematic of this thing. So we've got uh, the Variac uh, with the power factor caps there, uh, matching the inductance on the NST. And I'm going to add a rotary gap pretty soon here, and that's going to be uh, pretty interesting. It's not going to be running today though, unfortunately. Um, the uh, I don't have the right number of brakes in the wheel. It's uh, dragging the arc across, and uh, oh yikes! Don't want to lose those. Sorry about that. Just gonna have to put this stupid can back on. Okay, so um, anyway, I can run through the specs of the. Uh, Oil in a little while, but uh, yeah, this is uh, great, great uh, stuff I'm seeing here. Don't want to get too close with this thing, or it starts to spark the camera, and uh, I just don't want to lose that bulb. It's been a pretty good test bulb, really long filament, and uh, yeah, it's a 60 watt bulb. Um, okay, so we've got uh, 25 cans, and that ends up being about 31 picos, I've uh, found out. So, um, we've got a uh, new spark gap I've added, and uh, that's uh, adjustable so you can space it out close or far, depending on what uh, voltage you're putting in. Uh, I've got five nanos on each leg, that gives about two and a half nanos. Um, it's tuned for about 500 kilohertz. Um, so uh, the primary is uh, five turns with two and a half nanos, 22 inch diameter. Secondary, uh, self capacitance about 48 picos, 31 turns. Um, and. Uh, I guess I didn't put the inductance there. It's about 930 uh, uh, micro Henry's for the secondary, and uh, 205 turn uh, resonator. And I should have spaced the turns out a bit more, but uh, it ends up being about 4.8 picos. Uh, so uh, that uh, 25 cans ends up being uh, just right for total of 36 or so picos uh, to resonate uh, the, uh, the extra coil there, which is uh, as wide as it is tall, is uh, what Tesla did and what Eric Dollard uh, says to do. Um, so those are 24 gauge wire and that's uh, 14 gauge. Um, so yeah, it uh, goes uh, you know, it's pounding through the primary there, rings up the secondary, and uh, then rings up uh, another quarter wave up the resonator, reflects back down, and then that's where you see the light come up there. Um, so I don't want to damage the camera or the 
shut the video off, but uh, I can show you the kind of uh, output I'm getting if I didn't have the, the light bulb on. And this would be what you'd see usually if the rotary gap was running properly uh, all around this thing. And then without the light, uh, gobbling up anything. Oh <laughs> no. Let's hope the whole thing doesn't come down on us. can hear the breakout <laughs> anyway, pretty cool stuff. Enjoy.